okay but don't touch it anymore don't touch it anymore good morning it is your favorite happy hippie hood fairy kim she the call, she the and today we're gonna be making a vegan brunch. I have my sous chef right here. Everyone say hi to Aaron. Hi, Aaron. Here, Aaron. Oh, we're gonna cook together. This so is mine. Yes. The reason why this brunch is gonna be so important is because my sister Diana just had a baby. Baby Ander was born yesterday. Healthy, happy, gorgeous baby. And they're coming back from the hospital today. They'll be here within the next 45 minutes. So we don't have too much time to spare. We're gonna be making home fries. We're gonna be making a vegan quiche with vegetables. We're gonna be cooking these vegan sausages. And then I'm gonna be making vegan French toast with strawberries and maple syrup on top. So let's get started. Before I even start, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below, share this with your friends, and also put it in the comments if you guys would eat this vegan Hi. brunch. It's like it. Subscribe. Share it. Because I'm like, we need to knock things out. I cut up tomatoes, I cut up asparagus, I cut up mushrooms, and we're gonna put these in heat right now because to make the quiche, they have to be slightly cooked. We're cooking this right now. I've already got the potatoes boiling, so there's gonna be easy air in. Let's put this in the stove, okay? We're gonna put this right now to cook. All right, so for the quiche portion, we're gonna be adding chickpea flour. Hi, Kim. Hello, Erin. How are you doing? I'm doing great, how are you? We're doing We gotta put in flour. Okay. One fourth cup of nutritional yeast. Well, uh, <laughs> okay, now put it in. Two tablespoons of coconut aminos. <laughs> you like helping me? Yeah. So now we're gonna do one teaspoon of ground thyme. It's called oregano. Oregano. Thank you. Welcome. One, two, three. Keeping it a buck, not a big fan of this black salt. My description will tell you why. Vegetables cooking, chickpea flour in, nutritional yeast, soy sauce, thyme, oregano, turmeric, salt, and pepper, and then we gotta put the two. Okay. This is called tofu. We're gonna stir the vegetables a little bit more. You go, you go, King. Press the buttons. Okay, so now we're gonna put the vegetables in the, the mixture. So just to show you, so this is how the tofu looks now that it's been blended with the seasonings. It has a savory flavor to it, and I'm gonna add the vegetables right now. We're gonna put this on a dish. It's supposed to be a cast iron plate, but I don't have a cast iron dish or whatever. So we're just gonna use a regular dish and see how that happens. I'm also gonna take out the potatoes from the hot water that it's in, put it in cold water because right after we put this in the oven, I'm gonna cut up the potatoes, start making the home fries, and then we're gonna start working on the French toast. Boom! Your Boom. turn. Okay, so now I am mixing the tofu mixture that is supposed to be the quiche with the vegetables right now. It's looking really good. I, I forgot that we're supposed to put spinach in the so let me just throw some in there. My nephew's mad because I told him to stop messing with the sausages. So I might have some quiet time. Oh really, Aaron? You're not gonna help me? Let's try it out. It actually needs more, it needs salt. I think we ran out of cooking oil or like cooking spray. So I'm just gonna put some oil on each of these. Spread it out. My pinky is still a little bit weak from my breaking of the finger, so it's still like sometimes challenging doing stuff like this, but I need to do it. This is the only way I'm gonna get like my finger strength back. Okay, quiches going in the oven for 40 minutes at 350. What time is it? Okay, we're okay, we're okay. They're gonna be arriving by like 11.30 and like it's the food's gonna be ready by like 12. Or so I think. 
So now the potatoes have been in cold water. I'm gonna take them out right now, cut them up. I'm gonna start cooking in some oil the onions and the peppers for the home fries. All right, so now we're gonna cut some vegetables for the potatoes. I had to wash the dishes. I was not able to comfortably keep cooking if the dishes weren't washed. Are you excited to meet baby Ander? Yes, yeah, baby Ander. Oh, he's your little baby brother. Yeah, baby. I don't peel my potatoes for home fries. I personally like when they have the skin on it, but to each their own. If you don't like that, that's your business. Oh. I cut it into pieces mm. like this because they're gonna get slightly mashed up. So I personally like having some bite in the home fries. They go here. Yeah. We're gonna start putting the potatoes in right now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna put salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder. That's what I'm thinking as a start. Yes. I'll give it for you. Thank you, we're all done. So my digital camera died. We're gonna use my phone, no big deal. Right, Erin? So for the French toast, we're gonna need your classic bread. I just got this at Stop and Shop, the bakery section. Strawberries to put on top. Almond milk, cinnamon, chia seeds, vanilla extract, and agave. And then maple syrup to put on top. I'm gonna mix up all the ingredients right now except for the bread, and it's gonna take about 10 minutes to activate because chia seeds do need to help make the liquid more gooey so that it can stick onto the bread better. I'm so sad. You're, you're so sad? Yeah. Why are you sad? Mm -hmm. Bruh. Do you want to help me? Yeah. Okay then. Whoa, it's all I like this. I know you do. So we need two spoons of of this. This is called chia seeds. Okay. Agave nectar. Okay, but don't touch it anymore. Don't touch it anymore. Now we got one cup of this. Ready? Yeah. We're gonna do four cups because I know that you love to pour. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. What are you doing? Your turn. Nice, thank you. You're gonna see baby Ander. And you're gonna be like, oh. And so you're doing a great job mixing. We're gonna let this be in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. And then we're gonna start doing some French toast. And then we're getting close to the end. The quiche is gonna be ready in six minutes. The potatoes are just at a low and slow heat so that they continue to soften up and get a little bit more home style type. The quiche, let me see how it's You, my love, okay? Be better, Kim. You feel better? Thank you, Kim, and then and fire, Kim. I can. So while the the wet mix for the French toast soaks in, we're gonna get knock this out, get the strawberries out of the way so that you know we're we're just getting closer and closer to brunch time. And my sister's gonna be arriving any moment now with her new baby. I love strawberries, they're so yummy. Yeah, so yummy. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Erin. Here are how the home fries are looking. Oh, Keisha's ready, let's check on that. Mm, I kinda want them to cook more, let me pull it out. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna put it in for just a little bit longer. Kiss your head when you cry for 
Y'all voy a comer un minuto. I just want to zoom in on the plate. Look at that. <laughs> Ay, chulo. Everyone is eating their food now. They love it. I'm about to chow down. I'm so excited. The sausage is good. The quiche came out great, savory. The French toast is so sweet and simple with the berries on top. And then the home fries came out really good too. So that's that. I'm gonna go spend some quality time with my family now. Um, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, comment on it, and as always, it's been your favorite happy, hippie, hood fairy, Kim. Peace.